The Helix Command Center is an added layer of commands that you can assign to the foot switches, expression pedals, and even snapshots and presets of your Helix devices. With the Command Center, you send different kinds of commands. MIDI information to an array of devices, active control value for synthesizers, MIDI machine control for recorders and sequencers, computer keyboard shortcuts, also known as QWERTY hotkeys, external amplifier controls, and can even send itself MIDI commands as a way of expanding your control scheme on the Helix itself. To access the command center, press the menu button and encoder knob 3. Instant command slots are indicated by lightning bolts across the top and are sent out in order from left to right. These messages are tied to snapshot changes as well as preset changes. When you change to a preset, a specifically saved snapshot is recalled, along with the associated instant commands. Active assignments are indicated by little triangles above the icons. There are icons that represent each of the foot switches, including the mode and tap tuner button. Any external switches for the HX stomp or any expression pedals on board or connected externally. Now we're gonna talk about everyone's favorite subject. For a full comprehensive guide to all things Helix and MIDI, I highly suggest you take a moment to click the link in the description to the unofficial Helix MIDI guide provided by the generous Stupolini from the gear page. I've had to reference it many times for the sake of this tutorial video, as I am a bit of a midiot. In a nutshell, MIDI is a language that devices use to send messages to each other. There are program change messages and control change messages. Different devices have their own proprietary commands associated with the different message numbers. For the sake of this demonstration, I'll be using an HX stomp to receive messages from a Helix floor. If I want to change presets on my stomp, I'll look up the PC number associated with the preset. In this case, preset 06A will be recalled with PC number 015. I'll navigate to the switch I want to use, select the bank program command, and select program 15. Now that message will be sent and the appropriate preset will open. If I want to activate the tuner on my stomp, I'll send a one-time CC message. Helix hardware expects CC68 for the tuner. If I want to toggle something on and off, like a block or any other assignment, I'll set up a CC toggle. This is where the value parameter comes into play. Oftentimes, with toggling assignments, different values designate which position the toggle will be in. Simple on and off toggles will have two states, a low state having a value between 0 and 63, and a high state with a value between 64 and 127. Low is off in this case, and high is on. Recalling snapshots is done with a CC69 message. Since snapshots have more than two states, the values act differently. Snapshot 1 is selected with the value of 0. Snapshot 2 is selected with the value of 1. Snapshot 3 is selected with the value of 2, and so on. Value 8 takes you to the next snapshot in line, and 9 takes you to the previous. I can set my expression pedal to emulate the expression pedal on the stomp with CC1. Look up any MIDI information in your instruction manual to find which number corresponds to the action you want to take for the device you're using. Moving back to the different types of command center messages, you can do things like send MIDI note information with velocity settings from your foot switches allowing you to use Helix as an instrument controller for soft synths. MIDI machine control commands for controlling recorded devices and external amplifier control for changing channels on a physical amplifier. 
In some cases, you'll need a TRS cable with separate tip, ring, and sleeve connections to send different or combined signals depending on what your amp is expecting. See your amp's manual for specifics. CV stands for control voltage. A signal from a standard expression pedal is passive, but some synths expect a powered signal to control their parameters. CV out sends one value when pressed, while CV toggle toggles between two values. Assigning the expression pedal to CV out allows you to assign minimum and maximum values as to sweep through them. Hotkey commands can be assigned to perform tasks on your personal computer like copy, paste, cut, full screen, power on, power off, function keys, alphanumeric characters, all that. There are quite a few examples of different setups for various programs in the templates set list, so don't sleep on the templates. The next three are for sending commands to the Helix itself. HX preset commands allow you to assign a foot switch to jump to any preset in your current set list. Here I've created what I like to call rooms for testing out new combinations of effects and comparing, a being, building rigs, etc. HX snapshot commands allow you to place a snapshot switch anywhere while in stomp mode, instead of needing to navigate to snapshot mode. This can be a great shortcut if you only want to use maybe two snapshots and save the rest for stomp switches without worrying about flipping to a different mode. There are options that allow you to select snapshots on press, release, or when held. HX looper commands allow you to place any of the looper functions on your stomp mode switch layout, so they're always there. It's possible to connect a MIDI cable from the output directly to the input as to send Helix its own MIDI commands, but you'll need to set this up in the global options. Your MIDI through should be set to off. Receive MIDI clock should be set to off or USB. Send MIDI clock should be off or USB. PC receive should be off or USB. PC send should be off or USB. Doing this lets you do things like switch to a preset in an entirely different set list or send itself a CC68 message to activate the tuner on the fly without needing to hold down and wait for the normal tap tuner button. There are some strange things that can happen, so use your judgment and try different things. If you accidentally create an endless loop, your Helix will act drunk and you'll need to unplug the MIDI cord before reconfiguring your settings. If you have any questions or concerns about MIDI, Command Center, or anything I haven't discussed, feel free to ask in the comments section of this video. I can't promise every shred of knowledge on these subjects, but I do know people who do, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching, and happy Helixing.